Hello and welcome to Team Central. My name is Carrie. I'm at the Mount Airy Branch Library. We're part of Carroll County Public Library and thank you for joining me today. So one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about today is how to find out what your reading style is, what books that you like. Um, one of the things that we always talk about when we have TAB or our teen advisory board meetings, when we could have them face to face, was we would give each other book recommendations. Um, so here at the library, we give out book recommendations all the time. Although it can be a little bit tricky right now with everybody quarantining and the library doors not being open to the public right now. So I wanted to give you some ideas. Instead of just giving you book talks on books that I love like I usually do, I want to give you some tips and tricks on finding out what books you might like to read next. Um, give you some ideas for how to discover new authors and genres. And also I will show you on our website uh, on www.library.carr.org on Carroll County Public Library's uh, website, how you can discover new books. I know our search engine, our catalog can be a little bit tricky with finding some of the books, so I'll give you some tips on that and show you some places to get some really great book recommendations. When you're not face-to-face -face with me or another person to kind of bounce ideas off of. So the first thing I'll show you is one of my favorite new books here, um, A Universe of Wishes. And I know I said I wasn't gonna give book recommendations, but I'm recommending this book because it is an anthology. An anthology just means that it's a collection of shorter stories by a variety of different authors. And the YA genre has a whole bunch of really amazing anthologies out right now. Uh, this one, A Universe of Wishes, uh, some of the authors included here are just amazing YA authors. Um, so Danielle Clayton, Libba Bray, uh, V.E. Schwab, Nick Stone, uh, Samira Ahmed, just amazing, amazing authors. I won't list them all. But one of the great things that I love about this book and about all anthologies, and there are some really great mid-grade anthologies as well that we have in our J collection. Um, but the ones I'll be talking about today come from our YA collection. And there's another good recommendation back here on the back of the book, Fresh Ink, that we have in the collection also. One of my favorite things um, about anthologies is that you don't have to commit to an entire book. If you're looking for a new author or trying to figure out what kind of story you like, um, you don't have to slog through a whole 200, 300 pages to see if that's an author that you really like their writing style. You kind of get a little sample of what their writing is like. And a lot of times, and this goes for adult books as well, authors will kind of um, float an idea, get the seed of a story, um, for a book and put it in an anthology. And then later, that might bloom into a full-length book. Uh, that happened with Meg Medina's uh, Newbery Award medal book, um, uh, Mercy Suarez. Uh, that started out in an anthology as a short story and then was later developed into this really fantastic mid-grade chapter book. Um, so this is a great one if you want to check it out here um, we have you can always place a hold get it on express pickup we have the physical book but also always a reminder to check out what ebooks we have as well and now i'll show you how to find some more of these anthologies in our system all right so we're here at the carroll county public library web page the web address for this is library l-i-b-r-a-r-y dot C-A-R-R dot O-R-G. So this takes you to our homepage. And because I showed you that anthology, A Universe of Wishes, I wanna show you how to search for more anthologies in our young adult collection. So you'll wanna go over here to the search tab and you can search directly from here, but I'm gonna show you a way to do an advanced search to narrow our search down. So just go to catalog here and click. And then up under search, there's a place to do an advanced search. Before you fill out the any field information here, go down a little bit to more search options. And this is where you'll be able to filter out 
just the books out of our YA collection. And you can do this for any of our collections, of course. So if you scroll down, down here to collections. So what we call collections, they're basically just the different sections that we have here at the library. If you can picture the library in person and down at the very bottom, because they're in alphabetical order is where we have all the young adult. So you can pick any section that you want. There's a graphic novel section, there's nonfiction, there's books on CD. What I'm gonna show you today is the young adult fiction. And then we'll set this as a search option. And now under any field, you don't wanna search title or author, but you can put in just general notes. You can search anthology and go. And this is gonna pull up some of the young adult book anthologies that we have here in the system. And if you find one that looks interesting to you, you can click in to get more information. And you can always place a request over here to place a hold. So right now, while the library doors are closed and you can't come in person, you can still get the physical books from us. You just place a book on hold. You wait until you get that hold notice. You'll be able to click on a link for Express Pickup, and that's where you can schedule a time to come in to pick up your books. Um, your books will already be checked out to you when during that scheduled time, they'll be bagged up with your last name on the bag in our lobby. It's completely contactless. Um, so you don't have to worry about spreading germs in the library as well. So that is to find some more anthologies if that's the route you wanna take. Another place you can go on our website if you're not sure uh, that you want to commit to anthologies, you might know already what genre, what types of books you already like and enjoy and what you want to read next, but you might just not know what title you actually want. So you can go under our kids and teens section here. And under teen reads, this is going to connect you to the site for YALSA. YALSA is the Young Adult Library Services Association. Um, it is a part of the American Library Association, and this is its book finder tool. They have a place here where you can search award books if you want. These are always really great, fantastic books. For example, down here, if you like graphic novels, they have a great graphic novels for teens book list that you can search with over a thousand titles here. You can narrow this down. There is a filter option here. So within this, you can search by author, other lists that it's shown up on, what genre it is, if it's realistic fiction, science fiction, what year the book has come out, etc. And then Bookfinder also has this tab here for genre. So you can search under what genre you like. If you already know you like, let's say realistic fiction. You can pull up the realistic fiction book list and know that these are all, these books have all been read by library staff and librarians over the years and are highly recommended. And again, you can filter within that genre for some of the topics that you might like, some of the genres that they cross over with, some of the book lists that they've shown up on and the authors that are listed in those book sections as well. So that's a really great place to go to look for some new books when you're searching. Um, and you can get to that link right through CCPL's homepage. The third and final thing I wanna show you on our website here from CCPL's homepage is something new that we as library staff have created since uh, this pandemic started in the last year. We knew that a lot of the book recommendations that we give out to you as customers face-to-face -face aren't going to happen because we can't be face-to-face -face with you. And we can make videos with book recommendations all day long, but sometimes you just need a really personalized 
book recommendation. So we started a new service and you can find it under our services tab. And it's what to read, watch, or listen next. This is a personalized form. It goes directly to your library branch and we will pick out books for you that we're recommending specifically for you based on what you fill out in this form. So if you fill out your information, say you are a normal library customer here at the Mount Airy branch, you pick your library branch, say you're a teen, you want books from the YA section, and then it has a place to mark off what genres you generally like. You can also leave this blank if you're not sure or fill out as many as you like. You might like biography and historical fiction and graphic novels and science fiction and romance. That doesn't necessarily mean that you will get all of those things in one book, but we can pull a variety of books for you. Um, you have this option here for the numbers of titles you want to check out. So with this book recommendation service, it's gonna work really like it would face-to-face. -face. Usually when you come into the library, you ask for a type of book, we're not just going to say, oh, you know what that sounds like? This is the one book you need to read next. No, we're gonna pull a big old pile of books for you to look through. And you can look at the flap, you can look at the cover, you can see if it's a book you've read already and sort through those and then take the ones that you want. So that's why we have this five and 10 titles here. If you really wanna explore a lot and figure out what you're going to read, you don't. we're not saying you have to commit to reading all of these 10 books, but it gives you a pile of books that you can look through in lieu of being able to come in and search for books on the shelf yourself or to get these reading recommendations from us. So we ask for three books, authors, or topics you've previously enjoyed. Um, and you can list, if you're not a big reader, list, I'm not a big reader, I can't even remember the last book that I enjoyed, but I'm really looking for something that might grab me. And then anything else you want us to know, the more information you give us, the better these selections will be for you. And then my favorite is the tab down here. I would like to receive an additional librarian's choice surprise item based on my selections. So this selection is great because it might not be something that necessarily fills in the categories that you filled out, but it might be something that's kind of adjacent to one of those subjects or a book that we've read recently or a book that's getting a lot of buzz or has gotten an award um, or that we're just seeing a lot of customers are checking out and really loving it. And we can throw that in there. And who better to get a surprise book recommendation from than your local, friendly, knowledgeable library staff. That's how I'm referring to us. <laughs> so this is really fantastic. If you fill this out, we, as it says here, we can get these books to you ready within three business days. Uh, and then you just set a time for express pickup, um, just like you would your other books that are on hold. We'll check them out to you. You take the bag from the lobby. It's all contactless and safe. Um, and it's one of those things, if you open your bag of 10 books and uh, you know, you've read three of the books already that are in there, just throw them right back in the book drop to us. That's no problem. You don't have to feel obligated to keep them or reread them. Um, or if you see something that you know, like based on the cover, I know we're not supposed to judge a book by its cover, but we always do, um, that you don't think that you wanna take back with you, just throw it back into our book drop. It's no problem at all. Um, but this is a great option for you to see some books, hold them in your hands, read the inside flaps, and see if it's something that you actually want to commit to reading to. Um, so I hope you get some good information here from our website and definitely check out these resources that we have for you. All right, so now that I've shown you some places where you can get your next book. I also just wanna give you some quick tips and tricks with reading. And these are things that not a lot of grownups, you're probably not hearing these things from a lot of grownups in your lives. So my rules of thumb for a book, which can be applied to anyone, if you start a book and you just can't get into it, you're not liking it, you don't have to finish that book. You know, if it's for a school assignment, 
then you do have to finish that book, of course, if that's an assigned book. But if you're reading for pleasure, it should be for pleasure and for your enjoyment. Don't feel like you have to stick it out. Some books I've stuck with and they really do pay off in the last half of the book or the last you know, few pages, um, but that is your time uh, and your time uh, to figure out what you like reading. So don't feel like you have to stick with the book the whole way. You can always close it, you can come back to it later or never again, that's okay too. There are a lot of fish in the sea with books. So you can try lots of different things. And these tips go for kids who just, not just kids who think of yourselves as readers. These are really great tips for if you don't think of yourself as a reader, somebody who isn't typically reading for pleasure outside of school. So um, you don't have to always read on level. So whatever your reading level is at school, whatever books you're reading in English class, um, those are fantastic projects that your teachers are assigning you for a particular purpose for you to learn and grow. But if you're reading on your own at home, it's okay. If you're reading, you know, rereading a chapter book series that you read in fifth or sixth grade, um, rereading mid-grade books, reading adult books, um, you don't always have to read on level and you don't always have to read books that are challenging. We want reading to be fun for you. Um, so whatever genre you find, I know a lot of grown-ups don't think that graphic novels are real books. I'm here to tell you, I'm a library professional. You can give them my seal of approval. Graphic novels are real books. Read whatever you are propelled to read, even if that's nonfiction, um, you know, whatever you like. So try to find books that you are excited about reading, no matter what they are. And then the last thing I wanted to tell you, and this is something that I know when I was a kid, because I was so caught up in getting things right with reading for my school assignments, I always thought it was kind of cheating to read book reviews about a book before I read it, or read a lot of the back matter or the inside flap. I thought that I had to read a book and then figure out what it was about. You don't have to do that. You can try to figure out what a book is about before you start reading it. That way, it's kind of like a flashlight. You're not just reading in the dark. It's not gonna give away a lot of plot twists or any spoiler alerts to know that this book is a fantasy book. You know, if you start reading a book and you think that it's realistic fiction, and then halfway through you realize that it's a fantasy book and this isn't the real world and there are dragons or whatever the case is, that can really throw you off track. Um, so it's okay to read a lot of information about a book and a story before reading the actual story. That's only going to help you figure out where the book is going and to be able to enjoy it more. All right, so those are some of my favorite tips for finding your own next read. So I'm hoping that you leave this feeling empowered. Uh, you know, if you can't speak to me in person, you can get some of those book recommendations through our website. We can do personalized recommendations for you, or you can always call and ask at your library branch as well and talk to one of the librarians over the phone. We're always happy to do that. Um, but in lieu of that, um, feel like you can be empowered to find uh, what your favorite next book is going to be. And I thank you for joining me here with Teen Central, and I hope you all stay healthy and well, and I hope that I can see you in person soon.